Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So today's question of the day is, is sex a way to handle arguments and disagreements between couples? Stay tuned. All right, family, thanks for coming back. So let me just say that my online courses are released and all of that information is in the description box below if you are watching on youtube if you are watching on my facebook fan page then i will link this in the um comment section and i will pin it at the top so definitely take a look at my online courses i have three of them one for my single people one for my people that are in the dating stages and also one for my people that are in relationships so go ahead and check out those online courses you can do them at your own time no one has to even know so now getting back to the question of the day is sex a way to handle arguments and disagreements between couples? Now, my honest opinion is it actually depends. So I have to say it depends because if you are only having sex, like that makeup sex basically is what we're talking about here. If you're having makeup sex or using it as a way to get rid of or not even to mention the old argument, like the sex feels much better, maybe you a person maybe you are the person who actually starts arguments so you can have the makeup sex, then that it, that could be good, it could be bad. But usually it is a bad thing because more than likely you have never gone back to dealing with the argument, the, the thing that took you down the bad road in the beginning. This is actually not healthy behavior if you just really want to know the absolute truth. Makeup sex really, it, it could be, like, like don't get me wrong, we all know the makeup sex can be like, great it can be awesome it can be a super turn turn on to the 25th degree right but you also after the makeup sex is finished complete y'all both have done what y'all needed to do then you go back and you actually talk about said conversation so you two can be on the same page and not just sweeping things under the rug because after a while, just having makeup sex, the, that relationship will be nothing but sex. Literally, that relationship will be nothing but sex. You will build the entire relationship off of makeup sex. It's actually a toxic relationship. It's definitely not a healthy relationship. And so now that you guys know, knowledge is power, but applied knowledge is better. So if you are a person that likes makeup, makeup sex, then do the makeup sex, but handle the argument handle the disagreement sit down talk about it like mature people have pillow talk if that's what you want to do whoever is listening to this you can be the bigger person and say hey i know that we got into an argument about x y and z how can we solve this or you can say you know what we got into an argument about x y and z we don't need to leave this unsolved yes the sex was great okay you can acknowledge that right the sex was great but we need to start dealing with these issues because i don't want the relationship to only be about makeup sex or we're finding ways to just argue with each other just to get to this really ravenous passionate sex you can have the ravenous passionate mind-blowing sex without it being makeup sex okay so definitely it does depend um, if you are just like I said if you're just doing it to do it then okay but if you are disregarding the the reason why you got to the makeup sex if you are never addressing that argument then that is absolutely going to tear down your relationship over the long haul your relationship is not going to last by just building it up on makeup sex okay so i hope that this makes sense definitely give me thumbs up if you like this video yes y'all like, like my link my new dude yes yes honey i'm feeling it honey i'm feeling all of myself <laughs> i got my five year itch and i was just like you know what i'm about to just cut all of this off and then i went ahead and add some dye to it so hopefully y'all can see this like like it's like reddish burgundy i even covered up my little grays that come up in here they be who who has gray hair and just cannot dye it like how about that like my patch of gray hair that's always here like i've been having that since i was 18 and of course the older i get the patch of patch just gets bigger and bigger and it's just it's getting out of control okay <laughs> so anywho like i said give me thumbs up if you like this video of course share this information with all of the people that you know need to see this thank you to all of my fans on my facebook fan page because you guys are picking up my views 
they're starting to pick up more and more so I definitely want to thank you guys of course on YouTube definitely hit the subscribe button but also if you are on my Facebook fan page and you have found me for the very first time definitely follow my page so give me a like and follow my page I will see you ladies and gentlemen again tomorrow we are still in this thing deuces